Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to all my subscribers. We are very close to the 1000 mark, so if you haven't subscribed and you like this kind of stuff, emulation, gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, this is basically all we do. So please subscribe, and without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about Proton Tricks. Proton Tricks. So if you don't know what Proton Tricks is, go into your Discover Store, and here, type Proton Tricks. Okay, so this is the program. It's got this wine glass. So if you haven't downloaded it, download it first. You're probably going to need it. So, okay, I'm not going to launch it yet. So let's say I've got a non-Steam game that I want to add to my Steam library. So I go to my Steam and I add a game. Add a non-Steam game. Browse. And then let's say I want to add Hogwarts Legacy. So I've got HogwartsLegacy.exe. Got to add it. Add selected program. See, this is the official Steam one that I've purchased. This is a non-Steam one. So let's say I want to play this non-Steam one for some reason. Okay. Um, well, if you normally just play it, it doesn't work, right? You need to go into its properties. And then compatibility, we're going to use Proton Experimental. And we're going to run it. And it says it has an error. It has a, we need Visual C++ runtime, okay? So what this means is that it doesn't have this dependency. So what does, what dependency do we need? So if you're not sure, go into steamdb.info, search for your game, and then go to this, Depots. And then it says here, okay, VC 2019, read this. Sometimes it's 2015, sometimes it's uh, 2022. Uh, so now it says 2019. I think we need this one. So that's where Proton Tricks comes in. So let's go to Proton Tricks. Let's open it. Okay. So the first you're greeted with this page and it shows you all the games, the Steam games. These are the Steam games and these are the non-Steam games that we've installed. So for the non-Steam games, let's see, I've got HogwartsLegacy.exe. See this number? Well, this is a folder number. So it tells us which folder. So we can locate this. So it's 34617, something like that. So go into our home and then go in and hit like there's a hidden folders. So if you don't know what hidden folders is, go here and then show hidden folders, a uh, hidden files. And then you can see it. So we've got a dot steam and then steam, um, steam apps. And then see this folder here, compact data. This is this folder stores all the games in our Steam library, uh, the Steam ones and the non-Steam ones. So for the Hogwarts Legacy, it's in this directory called three four six one seven. So let's find this. Okay, here this one, three four six one seven. So in this directory, we call this a prefix directory. So this is basically a Windows environment where it's running. So Hogwarts Legacy runs all the files on this environment, and this environment is very bare bone. So that's why it doesn't have that Visual C++ runtime that it needs to run the game. So we need to install it here. This is where this is the directory we need to install it here. And so that's why Proton Tricks, when we select this, we go inside this folder and we install the dependencies into this folder. And this number, if it's a non-Steam, it changes every time you add a new Steam game. So it say, say it's three, four, six, one, seven, right? So let's say I let's say I don't do anything right now. Let's say I delete this game. I remove it. Okay, and then I add it the same game. So add a non-steam game. Browse. Then I'm gonna add the same game. So it's the same thing, right? But it's in a different folder this time. So Take note of that because it's not always the same number. So I'm still going to ex Proton Experimental. All right. So now I'm going to run Proton Tricks again. It's not going to be that 34617. Um, Hogwarts Legacy. Does it even have it here? Uh, maybe I need to run it first. Yeah, uh, maybe it's, it's not. Okay, I just let me maybe just run it. Play it one time first. Maybe it needs that. Okay, so it's still the same error. We need the official C++. And then we open Proton Tricks. 
And let's see if it's okay. It's here. See, it's three zero zero four one seven this time. It's here. Okay. So yeah, that's so you know that it changes for non Steam game. For Steam games, they always use the same Steam ID. So, but for non Steam games, it doesn't have a Steam ID, so it just assigns one every single time. So now we're going into this folder in Proton Tricks. So everything we do now, it's in this contained environment, this Windows environment that we've created. So we're going to select the default Wine prefix, OK. And then we're going to install a Windows DLL or component. So we're going to install that Visual C++ runtime. OK, so here are all the available dependencies we could choose from. So we're going to choose that VC run 2019. This is the this is the Visual C that we needed. 2019. Okay, so press OK. And it looks like it's doing nothing. Just wait for it. Don't panic. I always panic when nothing happens. But yeah, just let it do its thing. Okay. I don't know what this means, but just press OK. Yeah, I don't know what this means either. Just OK. Okay, now this I know. We're going to agree. And then I'm going to install it. This is installing the Visual C++ 2015 to 2019. This is the x86 version. Okay, let's just install it. Successful. I think we have to install one more, the x64 version. It'll do it automatically, don't worry. See, this is the x64 version of the same thing. Yeah, I'm agreeing. Install. Okay, successful. Okay. Wait for it. It's not finished. Be patient here. Okay. Don't know what this means, but press OK. Okay. Now this comes back up. We, I'm going to click on install a Windows DLL or component again, just to make sure I've installed it correctly. Uh, if it's installed correctly, it has a check mark. So let's see. Okay. So we have a check mark. Uh, we shall see. Okay. Yeah, the VC run 2019. Yeah, we've got a check mark. So it means it's installed. So great. Let's just cancel out of this. And let's try to run the game again. Okay, so we got past the Visual C, but now it says Windows 10 or later is required to run the game. So uh, this means that that environment, that Windows environment that we had, this one, it's not running on Windows 10. So how do we change that? So Proton Tricks helps again. So we go to Proton Tricks again, and then we select our game, Hogwarts Legacy.exe, double click it. Just wait for it to load. Okay, so okay, we're going to select the default wine prefix again. But this time we're not going to install a Windows DLL or component. We're going to run wine config. This is the one. Run wine config. Press OK. OK, so we get this wine configuration. And on the first tab, applications, at the very bottom, there has a Windows version. It's currently set at Windows 7. So that's why we're not we're getting that error. So let's change it to Windows 10. Click apply. OK. And then we're done. We can cancel out of this. All right, let's run the game. Does it work? I think so. Yeah, I think we got it. So there you have it. So you know now that Proton Tricks actually helps you manage your contained Windows environment for running those non-Steam games. That's why this program is so useful. So I hope this video really helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.